Hiya. My name's Eldnar Nivek and I teach maths. I'm going to do a series of short lessons on maths at A level. The course we're using is the OCR or AQA uh, A level maths spec. Looking at the OCR, the first section is called Core 1 and it's on indices and thirds. And we're going to concentrate on thirds. Uh, and first of all, it's simple properties of thirds is mentioned in the spec. So now we'll look at um, what is a third. It's a vaguely rude sounding name, I was thought, when we did it at school. Um, if you look at some square roots, let's say first of all, root 4, square root 4. If we just take the positive root, we get 2, you know, it's plus or minus 2. Uh, but we'll just take the positive, we're just dealing with positive roots this part of the course. Then again a straightforward root uh, 9 gives us 3 and we can go on can't we. Um, we can get root um, 16 say. This of course gives us 4. 4 times 4 is 16. And then Let's have a look at um, that was something like root um, three. Now root three is not a nice three is not a nice square number, is it? So it's got a square root, but it's it's an odd one. Um, similarly, root seven. Let's have a look at root seven. We can guess it's between two and three, isn't it? Um, also something like root 11 and again we get an hour between 3 and 4 so these last three roots aren't nice whole numbers they are even whole numbers so which one's a third? well the first one isn't a third the second one isn't a third and the third one isn't a third because they are whole numbers but root 3, root 7 root 11 are thirds. They're irrational numbers. Right. So root 3, root 7, uh, root 11 give you a number that doesn't end, the decimal part doesn't end, it doesn't repeat. Yeah? So it's called, it's known as an irrational number. So, first of all on the, on the spec it talks about properties or rules if you like when handling certs. <coughs> the first one says that if we get a square root of a number that can be expressed as x times y then that equals the square root of x times the square root of y. So I can split it up like that. Similarly, the second rule says that if we have a root similar to um, this one, which is x divided by y, then we can treat that as root x divided by root y. And really, in, the, in the, this A-level course, and the section about thirds, they're the only two rules that you need to apply really and um, the problems go on broken down into one of those um, rules. So look at some examples. Uh, one that I've seen quite a few times in exam papers is express 200 in a simpler form. So we've got 200 using rule 1 equals 100 root 100 times root 2, because 200 is uh, 100 times 2 or 2 times 100. So we can split that up and say root 200 then equals root 100, that's nice isn't it, times root 2. Now we know that root 100 is 10, so the answer is 10 root 2. So there we've, we've um, 
I start off with route 200 and we finish up with 10 route 2 which is third route 2 being the third S very similarly 700 gives us route you know what's coming don't you yeah, yes route 100 times 7 which of course is route 100 times Route 7, now route 100 is 10, so that gives us 10 times root 7. Another example, let's have a look at this one, root 32, it's going to give us root 16 times 2 which gives us root 16 times root 2 which of course is 4 root 2 this is all straightforward and so what we're looking for we're looking for square number the biggest square number that divides into the original root and then we take that out this one, root 2, 4, 5. So we're looking for a square number that goes into 2, 4, 5. Uh, a biggish one, can you guess? Can you work it out? A nice big square number, 49. 49 times 5 is 2, 4, 5. So that equals root 49, which we have 7, times root 5. Which of course gives us 7 root 5. Now I guarantee on any OCR AQA exam paper you'll get a question that is very much like this. You will get one of these questions. So now we'll have a look at a few that use the other rule, the second rule, of course you want if you like, root 8 over root 2 equals root 8 over 2, which equals of course root 4, and root 4 is 2. Another example, root to 5 over root 5 which equals square root of 1, 2, 5 over 5 which is a square root of 25 because 5 goes into 125 25 times which is 5 Another example, root 3 over root 48. Uh -huh. Well, there's several ways of doing this, but let's do it this way. Let's say, let's say we've, we'll keep the root 3 for the time being on the top. The denominator will split up into root 16 times 3. 16 is a square number, isn't it? Perfect square. So we've got 3 over root 3, sorry, root 3 over root 16 times root 3. And you can see what's coming here, can't it now? You know, what count nice these. Root 3 over root 4. Root 16 is 4. 4 root 3, then we can just cancel the root 3's. So we'll get 1 over 4. Now, it's, as this, this, the idea of this course is to pass the exam, essentially. What we're trying to do is 
provide a number of of short um, short videos that will help you to get a good grade up the grade A in the exams. So let's have a look at some exam questions. Question one. These are taken direct from OCR papers. Note 12. Straightforward. You're looking for a square number that divides into 12. You see what it is. It's 4. So 12 equals 4 times 3. So that equals root 4 times root 3. Root 4 is 2. So the answer is 2 root 3. Straightforward, isn't it, for a level exam question? Yeah, that's right. Let's have a, yeah, let's have a tick for that. Number two is root two hundred over eight. You might remember from earlier on, seven or eight minutes ago, root 200 is 10 root 2, but let's do it this way. That's 200 over 8. 200 over 8 is 25, and root 25 is 5. You could have said 10 root 2 over 2 root 2, which gives you 5. You did it the other way. Example three. Mm -hmm. Straight from the exam paper, these. Not selected, so it's straight from the exam paper. Root 300 minus root 48. Well, three is going to 300, you see, and three is going to 48. So we're probably looking at working with root three. Um, we've got 100 times. 3 minus 16 times 3. The question did actually say express root 300 as k root 3. So it told you that you were working in, uh, with root 3. So you knew to divide by 3 anyway. That's root 100 times root 3 minus root 16 times root 3 and that equals 10 root 3 minus 4 root 3 which gives us 6 root 3 and we'll have a nice tick for that as well example 4 There are five of these examples, you know. Example four, so you're nearly there, is root 18 minus root two. Well, square number that goes into 18 is nine, so we've got nine times two minus root two equals root nine times root two minus the root 2, which gives us 3 root 2, 2, minus root 2, gives us 2 root 2. And tick for that. And finally, question, example 5. Exam question 5 is, can't wait for this one, Five root eight minus three root two. So again, we're looking for root twos, aren't we? In the first one, so it's five. There's the five. And what we split the root eight into? It's got to be four times two, isn't it? So it's root four times root two. It's that minus. 3 root 2 
Well, root 4 is 2, so 5 times 2 is 10. So that will give us 10 root 2. That's 10 root 2 minus 3 root 2. Which gives us 7 root 2. And we'll have a tick for that. And that's how to handle thirds. So, thanks for watching. I hope that's helped you with your thirds. Uh, next lesson, we're going to be looking at thirds again, but the very exciting uh, rationalising the denominator. I bet you can't wait for that, can you? So, hopefully, if you've gone through that, okay, that should virtually guarantee you a very high mark in the section on properties of thirds for the OCR. Thanks again, and uh, hope you look at the next one, rationalising the denominator.